Okay guys, a quick video update on the new DJI GO firmware update. Before I start, make sure you subscribe and visit my channel if you are bored. Let's start off with the unimportant features. Waypoint modes are now available on Inspire 2. In my opinion, DJI's Waypoint mode is a bit mind-boggling and counterintuitive with the way that it's working. As compared to Lychee app that is much more practical by allowing users to preset each waypoint on the map. Then we have the aspect ratio overlay added to the Inspire 2. But I can't really say I care too much about that because it pretty much puts two black bars on top and bottom to give the footage more cinematic look, which can be easily done on any of the video editing software in post-production. Now onto the interesting features. The Spark is now capable of capturing 180 degree panoramic photo, choosing the flight direction under quick shot mode, and we can now finally, finally record video under gesture mode, and you can do it by raising one of your arm in the air like this. So this added new feature has satisfied all my initial complaints when the Spark first came out. Thumbs up on that DJI. On to the app itself. Now DJI added more stuffs in the editor's mode, like opening titles, transitions, and music library. It's always good to have more options when it comes to video editing, you know? Last but not least, cache video can now be stored into SD card. But make sure to set the cache limit or else it can fill up the memory faster than you think. That's it guys, I hope this video is helpful and comment below if you have any questions.